I don't get it. I really don't get it. And guys, listen, I want to talk to the average gamer. I want to talk to the real gamers out there. I'm not talking about the no lifers. I'm not talking about the people that spend 10 plus hours a day gaming. I'm talking about the real gamers. The ones that go to work, come home, spend time with their family and play for an hour or two, maybe three a night. I want to talk about that because I don't think it gets talked about enough. I think we talk so much with Diablo and just not having enough, right? <laughs> But I think we're forgetting, even as content creators, because listen, I don't do this full time. This is a part time gig for me. Um, I'm obviously trying to flip the script on that one. But, you know, so if you could like, subscribe and notify. But listen, I want to talk about the meat and potatoes of this whole thing. The, this, the, this, this whole ridiculous uh, blizzard thing. Why does it matter what the company of a game is? Do you enjoy the game? Do you enjoy the game? That, that's what it comes down. Do you enjoy it? Do you like it? That's it. That's all that matters. And w is it worth your money to sit down and play? And I just wanted to take a few minutes and sit back and relax and, and just say, you know what? It is. Diablo 4 is actually worth playing. Now, yes, if you're a no-lifer, you're not going to be able to spend a ton of time on this game. But... Average people like me who go to work and do all these things and, and have a life and, and, you know, have kids and things like that. This game is enough. And you know what? They bring out new content. They, they just brought, they just released a new update. They brought out what the new rings. So they're obviously bringing more content to the game. And you know what? I did something that I never thought I would do. I did something that I never thought that I would do. Watch this. Thought I'd get myself to ever say, okay? I'm going to say something I never thought I'd ever say to a game. I usually hate battle passes. I absolutely usually hate battle passes. I bought the battle pass last night. I literally logged on the stream last night because, like, I was starting to feel a little bit better, like, in the evening. I logged on the stream, or I didn't log on a stream. I logged on the game, and I started playing a little bit, and I was looking through the battle pass, and I actually bought the battle pass. Look at my freaking, look at that armor. That armor looks sick to me. Now, listen, I got to get further into the gaming in order to get the rest of the armor, but I think it looks good. Like, I was like, ha! Huh! I was like a little kid in the candy store. I was like, bro, I need that. <laughs> it sucked me in. It sucked me in, dude. And now, uh, listen, I get it. That That's probably going to be so controversial. I mean, because I know there's so many people. You're either on the spectrum of, no, never, fuck that. I'm never going to buy a battle pass. Or you're on the spectrum of, why does it matter? I like it, blah, 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 blah. But honestly, there needs to be a middle ground. There should be a middle ground. Every game needs to be monetized. And the reason that every game needs to be monetized is because you want the company to make money so they can hire their employees, so they can pay their employees, so that way they can keep doing updates on the game that you love. Come on. I mean, seriously. And yes, is it Blizzard? Yes, have they done a bunch of shady shit? Absolutely they have. But who hasn't? Who hasn't? Come on. Come on. There, I mean, you can't tell me you sitting there right now. You haven't done some shady shit in your life. I mean, come on now. <laughs> so, I mean, yes, is it right? No, obviously it's not. They're the things that happened it, because it's a big company got blown up and everybody's just fucking pissed, right? But that doesn't mean that you can't still enjoy the game. It doesn't mean that you have to revolt and never buy a battle pass. Listen, I don't buy battle passes, but I did it because I, I thought it looked freaking cool. And that's the game that I'm playing right now. So I was like, you know what? I'm going to do it. So, with that being said, uh, let's hop into, is Diablo 4 Season 2 worth playing? Absolutely it is. I mean, that's like saying, um, WoW isn't worth playing because it's Blizzard. Blau is, WoW is absolutely worth playing. WoW is a great game. Diablo 4, yeah, it's still new. Path of Exile started new at 1.2, guys, and there wasn't a lot there. At least I've heard. Now, listen, I didn't play Path of Exile when it first released. I played Path of Exile for the last two months. And don't get me wrong, Path of Exile was fantastic. It absolutely blew me out of the water. But then I run back to the average gamer side of me. You know, I go to work, I come home, I got to, you know, 
do the make a thumbnail i gotta you know record a youtube video because you know that's what i, I enjoy doing that and so my hours that i'm actually able to play are kind of not as high as i want it to be right take the souls of these men into edgar i feel like i did majority of the work there Edgar, I just, I just want to, I just want to say to you, I feel like I did majority of the work in this situation. Your little poll didn't do a whole lot, Edgar. I'm really kind of disappointed. I'm not sure how to thank you, my friend. Well, you could thank me by getting fucking better. Oh. Now, granted, for other people who aren't content creators, you might have a lot more time than me. But I'm just saying that's just the gist of it. And Path of Exile, for what it was worth is a great game and will i try the next league next season or ne yeah the next league um absolutely i will i think that i think that it's a fantastic game and i think that it's worth playing 100 but that doesn't mean that diablo 4 is in completely and utterly inferior it's a different game right every game's a different game it's it's a different style diablo 4 is not as complex and honestly there is a lot of there's a lot of positives about not being so dang complex because path of exile man i logged in there and there was a couple times i thought i was gonna rip my freaking face off because there was so much that i had to learn now granted you know i've been talking to a lot of people and they're like well you're supposed to dabble you're supposed to just dabble in the game you're supposed to learn one league mechanic here one league mechanic here and you're just supposed to learn as you go throughout the years but why should it take 13 years to learn a game? Granted, I'm not saying that it's a bad thing, but I'm just saying what I want right now in my life, I'm 34 years old. I just am feeling like I don't really have the time and I know that normal people don't. So a game like Diablo 4, where you can literally load it up and not have to have a spreadsheet to play the game is fun. And you're running around, you feel like a boss. I mean, you literally are like running around, slaying stuff and going ham on everything. Point. And a lot of people say like, well, you know, you can't craft on Diablo. I mean, it's, it's kind of true, it's kind of not. I mean, yeah, it's not as complex as Path of Exile, but I mean, you can still modify your gear, which is considered crafting, right? I mean, it's just not as complex. And I think, and like I said before, it's like, there is so much beauty in, in not being complex, especially after a long day of work or after hanging out with family and friends. And you just wanna come home, sit down, press a, a couple buttons and just watch your screen blow up, right? That's, watch the big numbers, play the game, watch the story. Do those things. That's what that's what people like me want to do. That's what people like you want to do. And that's why I don't understand why there's so much hate on this game. There is so many games out there that that deserve the hate. And yes, I, and I really feel like the only reason that we are hating on Diablo 4 is because of the name beside it, which is Blizzard. I don't want this to be a, oh, I love Blizzard. He's a Blizzard lover. No, I really don't give a shit. I'm just saying it's a game. It's a video game. <laughs> any, any company could have made this game. And if another company would have done it, you guys would be loving the shit out of it. And ever, there'd be 800,000 people watching the game every day. I'm just saying, yeah, does it get a little bit boring if you're a blaster and you get the end game? Absolutely. But that's like any game. You could go load up Baldur's Gate 3. And if you play it for... 800 hours you're gonna get bored <laughs> i'm just saying i mean am i wrong tell me right now in the comments if i'm wrong well i probably wasted enough of your guys' time by ranting but i'm just saying you know i want i want to i want to bring an average guy i want to bring an average viewpoint a normal gamer viewpoint to things you know, I you know things just drive me crazy. Some of the content that I watch, now granted, some of it's funny, some of it's you know not, some of it's ridiculous, some of it's great. I don't know, but I just people I think get so wrapped up in so much stupid stuff that it just blows my freaking mind, dude. You know what? What about back in the day, whenever we used to just have to buy a game and just play it? You know.
I'm talking like I'm a damn old man and it drives me crazy, but it's so true how different gaming is nowadays. So if you've tried Diablo 4 and you played season one and you haven't tried season two, I think you really need to try it. I really do. I think that you need to go into it and give it a shot. I mean, it's just like every other ARPG. You go in, you play it for a month or two, you get bored, you go play something else, but that's just like any game, man. And the thing is with this, at least it keeps on updating. Uh, so there's some games that don't keep updating and then you just, you, they, you just stop playing them and you wasted your money. At least with this, you're getting like almost what, almost the whole year before having to buy a new game or buy the expansion. Yeah. The expansion kind of sucks. I hate having to spend the extra money, but I mean, <laughs> that's like, dude, I mean, they all got their, they all, they all got their hand in your pocket. So you're going to spend the money anyways. You're going to go and order yourself a pizza. Hella damn pizzas, 30 bucks, not $30, not for one, but I'm just saying after tax and delivery and all that stuff, I mean, you're going to be looking at 30 bucks. That's hella, that's one night dinner. Just don't eat pizza two nights of two nights of a month. And you just save that money to buy the game. You enjoy the game, buy it. You don't enjoy the game. Don't buy it. You enjoy playing it, play it. You like watching me, watch me. If you don't, that sucks, but I promise it's a good time. <laughs> I promise it's a good time. We laugh, joke, have a good time on stream every time we stream, man. So if you haven't done it yet, hit that like button, hit subscribe, hit the notification bell. We go live on Twitch uh, and we post content Monday through Friday on YouTube. So I love you guys. Have a great rest of your day. Hopefully I didn't bore you too bad. Let's go. Oh, watch some videos. <laughs> Get it.